Okay, so now let's understand um, how we are going to use integration hub in our application. Uh, the first thing that I want you to observe is the uh, is the endpoint that you can see down below here for getting the user profile. So you have the base URL, that's the first part, api.zoom.us, and then you have the resource path, v2 slash users slash me. Okay, so have that in mind. Now let's understand uh, every records, every different record that we have in Integration Hub. So we have three type of records here. We have connection and credential aliases. We have a connection record. We have a credential record. So let's understand what is a connection record, what is a credential record. Then we will know what is a connection and credential aliases. A connection record is basically going to have two reference fields. The first reference field is going to be a connection and credential aliases. The second reference field is going to be a credential reference and in the connection record we will have also a field where we can put the base url not the entire url just the base url so in our case if we create a connection record the base url will be https slash slash api.zoom.us okay so this is how the connection record is made now what we have in the credential record, the credential record will have the information like what type of credential we are going to use. Are we using OAuth 2.0 credential? Are we using um, basic OAuth? Or are we using um, Windows credential? Such information will, will be in the uh, credential record. And in our example, if we choose OAuth 2.0, it is actually going to ask you what is the profile that you should use so we can link to the profile that we have already created okay so remember when you have created in our previous step the third party third party provider it is by default it is actually creating a zoom OAuth profile okay so that we can link to the credential record that we actually create in integration hub so in summary a connection and credential record contains the information of the connection how you should connect to the external application here in our case the zoom application so why do we need here uh, connection and credential aliases imagine that zoom decided to have multiple base url okay we can have api v1 api v2 dot zoom dot us api v3 so different version and in such case, if we can create multiple connections. So we can have one connection with API v1.zoom.us and we can have another connection with another URL, so on. Okay, so if we have multiple, if we are able to create multiple connection, we have to somehow relate all this connection to one record. That's why we need one connection credential area. So we can name one, uh, record like zoom connection and credential aliases will have 10 different connections okay that is the reason why we have above one record which can relate to 10 multiple connections so it all goes to one group okay so this is basically a framework which is going to help us to do one thing is is to dynamically change the base URL in your REST request. So when you build a REST request in Flow Designer, you here, for example, we will choose the type of the connection, which is going to be uh, connection alias. Then we will select what is the connection alias. Okay, that's the second field. Then dynamically, if you choose the right connection, it will, it will populate automatically the base URL. Okay, depending what you have in the connection record. So, if you imagine that you have 20 different REST requests, you don't need to go for each individual request to change the base URL. If you have built all these requests, let's say by creating a REST message and then you have 20 different requests, each request will have the full endpoint. The endpoint that you, can, that you see down below, you have the base URL plus the resource path. So you have to go one by one and then change for each request the existing URL. Instead, here you will just modify in the connection record the information so you can put API v2.zoom.us 
dot us it will dynamically change for all the rest message that you have created so this is the use case here and um, if you want to use a type or 2.0 we must use as well integration hub so now as you have understood how it works what we are going to do in the video just follow the video to create all these different records connection and credential aliases connection and credential and we will also get the OA token and then we will create a simple rest message um, to get the user profile 